Amidst the whirlwind of social media, debates continue to swirl regarding the whereabouts and true state of health of the Duchess of Wales. Just recently, a mere couple of days ago, a BBC anchor made a statement declaring a widely circulated video to be a fabrication. She expressed bewilderment at how British media could accept it as authentic, especially considering that the Times publication claimed to have seen Kate Middleton. Consequently, the BBC presenter was met with a barrage of criticism and calls for her dismissal directly from the BBC newsroom. However, as we observe, an increasing number of people, including those in positions of power, are beginning to echo her sentiments. It's not just Prince Harry who harbors doubts about the events surrounding his sister, but also his friends in the USA who are actively criticizing the British press, asserting the lack of any evidence regarding Kate Middleton's whereabouts and health status. Amidst this kaleidoscope of events, the British Prime Minister emerges, who, to put it mildly, only fuels interest in the situation. As is known, Rishi Sunak spoke of the need to support Kate Middleton following incidents at the London Clinic, yet in reality, these were the words of his predecessor, Boris Johnson, who remains at the center of media attention. His sister, speaking in the Evening Standard, voiced what many are thinking. The video purporting to prove Kate Middleton's well-being cannot be considered genuine. She contends that the video draws attention with its shocking content and believes that Kate Middleton could not have been spotted on that particular Saturday at the farm. The former Prime Minister's sister supports the public opinion expressed on social networks and points out discrepancies in the video that lead many to doubt its authenticity and even suggest the use of doubles in the footage. The alleged videographer, Nelson Silva, with remarkable confidence, claims that after purchasing bread, he witnessed the events and decided to capture the departure of the Welsh princes, yet the evidence he presents raises more questions than answers. As the final moments unfold, the fate of the Princess of Wales is fervently debated. Will she grace the public with her presence? Amidst this torrent of information, new doubts emerge from influential British figures. Piers Morgan, a distinguished journalist, has reiterated his skepticism about the authenticity of a video and questions the veracity of photographs published by The Sun. He voiced his concerns on his television show and in the recently released TNZ documentary titled Where's Kate? Even the publication that acquired the photos is uncertain of their origin and the truthfulness of the information. The intrigue deepens with the emergence of Paul Burrell, a former servant of the royal household, who suggested in a media interview that there might be reasons for concealing Kate Middleton. He speculates that if Kate is alive, her health could be so fragile that revealing it would be stigmatizing. The situation remains murky, but it's clear that something is being concealed. Burrell asserts that without Kate Middleton, the royal family is doomed, and this may be the key to understanding why she is absent from the public eye. I surmised she is alive, and I want to believe it, but if she appears in poor health, and if the family has not supported her, it could trigger a wave of protest against the monarchy. Burrell expressed hope for overcoming the crisis and a desire to show the world that all is well in the House of Wales, and to continue moving forward, as without Kate, the future seems uncertain. As someone intimately acquainted with the royal family, he speaks quite bluntly. He is not the only one connected to Lady D who has expressed similar thoughts. Recently, Charles Spencer, Lady D's brother, voiced comparable concerns, highlighting the difference in media pursuit between his sister and the current Princess of Wales, who faces not only health issues, but also potential legal pursuits. In today's blog, we'll unveil the enigma surrounding the high-profile legal dispute that erupted following a tumultuous interview with Oprah Winfrey. At the heart of the scandal is Kate Middleton, whose reputation was clouded by allegations of bias. This incident sparked a plethora of speculations about a rift between brothers William and Harry. However, the matter didn't stop at mere rumors and reached the halls of justice. Initially, the lawsuit was dismissed, and the attorney representing Meghan Markle's half-sister, who accused her of distorting facts about her own life story, faced defeat. Yet, as a last resort, she expressed her intention to summon Kate Middleton 
as a witness to bolster her stance in the battle against Prince Harry's spouse. Consequently, a legal showdown loomed, potentially bringing Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle face to face. But not out of Kate's desire to engage in conflict, rather due to the half-sister's ambition to use her as a trump card in court. Incidentally, the sister of former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who resigned last year, made a statement about the fabrication of video materials involving Kate and William. This theory is gaining traction as numerous inconsistencies, including the couple's height difference, do not match reality. Boris Johnson, despite being under the public's watchful eye for an extended period, has not commented on these claims. The situation is heating up, and even former high-ranking officials are not confirming the latest news about the princess. A former royal servant opined that without Kate Middleton, the monarchy is doomed, which might explain the absence of official photos or videos confirming her well-being. After all, it is known that those who conceal the truth fear its revelation.